Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2022 SEMA show and I came across a very cool 1967 Chevelle I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around we'll take a quick look at it. I like how they did the, uh, like, the 396 used to have those things on the hood, but they've made like modern versions of them. That's a good color choice, stances, right. Wheel choice is good colors, everything. And I didn't used to be a big fan of this body style, but they have grown on me over the last few years. I really like them now. They left the door handles on it, mirrors. It's built to drive. Yeah, I don't know what those things are called on the hood, but I think that they were cool back in the day, but they've done a really nice job of making them even cooler. And I want to say they came on the 396 Chevelles. I, you know, yeah. I didn't get wheel size. It didn't have it listed. One off grill, lots of body modifications. Front bumpers, tail lights, custom rockers, custom quarter panels, custom, custom, custom. And I think it turned out nice. Hot Rod Alley at SEMA 2022. Mass Motorsports LS7, supercharged, very cleanly installed. Not all paneled up. This is one that, did, for sure, was uh, I felt was uh, built to go out and have some fun. In. Nothing would stop you from doing that. Very nicely appointed interior. Fits the rest of the build really well. It's even got headrest hidden in it. Kind of a bucket seat design in the back, console running all the way through. T56 transmission. Custom tail lights. Just a really nice job, good clean car, you know? One you could get out and drive anywhere you wanted to go. Take it to some shows, win some shows. Take it out to autocross, have some fun out there. I thought y'all would like it. I thought it was nicely, nicely done. Complete package. Didn't lose any of the cool of the original car. So there you go from the 2022 SEMA show, a 1967 Chevelle. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.